Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you step by step how we can boot Raspberry Pi from SSD drive. Micro SD card is the easiest option for booting Raspberry Pi, but it is certainly not the best solution for long term use or always on server, as it is not designed to serve as a living storage for operating system. In other hand, if we use SSD drive, then it will definitely increase the performance in terms of read write speed. Also, it is very reliable option for long-term setup with Raspberry Pi. For this setup, we need a Raspberry Pi, one SSD drive, 120 GB, one micro SD card, and one SATA to USB cable. First, we flash the micro SD card with the latest Raspbian image. Once finished, open a notepad, copy this line and change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Then save this file into the micro SD card with the name wpa underscore supplicant dot conf. This will enable the Wi-Fi into the Raspberry Pi. Now open another blank notepad and save this notepad into the micro SD card with the name SSH. This will enable the SSH onto Raspberry Pi. Now repeat the same steps to flash the SSD drive with the latest Raspbian image. Now both SSD drive and micro SD cards are flashed. First, I will insert the micro SD card onto Raspberry Pi and power on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi now boot from micro SD card. Now connect Raspberry Pi with SSH and log in with the default password. First, update the Raspberry Pi using sudo apt update command. Then, upgrade the Raspberry Pi using sudo apt full upgrade command. This will take a while. Next, run sudo rpi update command. This will update the firmware of Raspberry Pi. After finish, take a complete restart of the Raspberry Pi. After restart, we will run sudo rpi epiroam update minus d minus a command. This will update the latest bootloader into the epiroam. Now we will run sudo raspi config to open the configuration settings of Raspberry Pi. Under the configuration, we will go to advanced option. 
then we will go to bootloader version and we will select the latest bootloader then select ok and select no to reset boot rom to defaults then again we will go to the main menu and go to advanced option again and then go to boot order and select usb boot now after selecting this instead of restart we will completely shut down the raspberry pi after shutdown we take off the sd card from raspberry pi and connect the ssd drive after that we power on the raspberry pi now from here onwards raspberry pi will start booting from ssd drive Once Raspberry Pi is fully started, you will be able to log into the Raspberry Pi. Then you can run df-h command to see the status of the drive. As you can see, 120GB hard drive is attached with the Raspberry Pi as a primary drive. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching. See you at the next video. Bye.